guys, it's Jade Bolden and welcome to our class number four, our wellness product class number four. It's women's health and hormones. So how to support women of all ages. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Okay, let's get going. So if you have um, this sheet, you can follow along with us. Okay, so we're second to last class. Okay, class number four. If you don't, you can download it at jadebolden.com and just search in the search bar wellness product classes and you'll find it. Alrighty, so we're going to look at the number one. It's hormone imbalance. We'll talk about hormone imbalance, okay, and the problem. So first of all, just remember what we talked about last time, that your body knows how to heal, that you can take control over your health. So you're not just victims of you know, something that happens to you and you have no control over anything. So, you know, your body breaks down and suddenly something happened. It's, it's not the case. Um, we have a lot of control over our health. So we have a picture here on the screen. I hope you can see it. Um, you have a cell and on the outside of your cells, there's these receptor sites. So things that are like feelers and they're searching for certain chemical um, that uh, that will help them trigger um, some signals. Okay, so it's scanning and searching for hormone chemicals. And so if the hormone chemicals come in and fits the receptors, the receptors will fire some signals and sending messages to the brains and to other cells. And then they start communicating. But you know what? Toxins can block those receptor sites and disrupt communication between the cells. And when it's disrupted, um, that communication, your body actually becomes imbalanced in lots of different ways. So that's why we have this imbalance problem. So we encourage everyone to start cleansing their cells so that their receptors can be free to scan and adapt because everybody's going to be different. Um, so everybody will you know, need adjustments of different chemicals in their brains, in their body at all times. And, you know, drugs and medications can't do that. You know, it doesn't adjust. It's not that intelligent. But your brain is intelligent. Your cells are intelligent. So you need your body, the inner doctor, to know what it's doing and to be able to function optimally. So you want to assist your body to, to do that. So if we have, um, okay, so we talked about your body knows how to heal and um, we talked about the receptor sites on your cells, you know, and it's constantly scanning. So if you have, um, oopsie, let's go back here, sorry. Um, so that page, look at the signs of hormonal imbalance. So irritability, weight gain, um, lower libido, UTI, uh, skin wrinkling, anxiety, water retention, hot flushes, headaches, um, bone loss and aches, um, facial hair or, or hair loss, facial hair depression, poor sleeping patterns, vaginal dryness or infections, and breast cells overstimulation. So, so some of these, are, they're just some of the signs of hormonal imbalance. It's because your, your cells are not able to communicate properly. That's all. Okay, so what we want to do is encourage it to communicate properly. So that's the idea. Okay, so check that box. We've done that. Okay, so now you look at the screen there or look at your paper. We're looking at xenoestrogens are synthetic compounds that mimic natural estrogens um, and, you know, in the body causing overstimulation, overstimulation of normal body functions. So you can have a regular... Um, estrogen chemical that can go into the receptor sites and then trigger intended signals okay because your body produced it but the xenoestrogens are these chemicals that are found in 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 our environment that is synthetic that mimic it and that cause unintentional um, problems and so when we have a lot of estrogen xenoestrogens in our system guess what we're going to have a lot of health problems because it's going to put our body into a high estrogen state. So when we have a lot of estrogens um, in our system, we have problems um, that range from 
breast cancer for women to prostate cancer for men, infertility for women, girls that have their periods way too early, like nine years old, okay, and, um, you know, breast overstimulation. And so there's a lot of problems, um, endometriosis, all those problems are caused by this environment that has a very high level of estrogens. Um, you know, the xenoestrogens, the synthetics. So the idea is to avoid those and reduce exposure. So we have xenoestrogens found in lots of places and we've listed them here if you look with me. Um, we have canned foods. The lining of the canned foods ha are xenoestrogenic. Okay? That, um, it's just plastic petrochemicals. Okay, that's got a lot of xenoestrogen. So you imagine eating the food that's been sitting in that. So you're eating just pure xenoestrogen. Okay, it's just gonna cause a lot of problems. Um, you know, farmed fish because they're fed with corn and other things that are, they've got uh, xenoestrogens sprayed in to the um, feed the corn. Um, and tap water, sometimes that has xenoestrogens because, you know, we have this water recycled and we have a lot of estrogens that um, end up in there. Okay, uh, we have plastics food that we cook in plastic. We don't cook with a microwave um, because, you know, things, yeah, anyways. Um, factory farmed animals um, are fed with things that have xenoestrogens because they're sprayed with hormones and, uh, I mean, the, the food that they eat was sprayed with um, hormones and pesticides. And pollution has xenoestrogens, perfumes, colognes, pesticides. So, you know, I'll just go back to colognes and perfumes. Some people, they complain and they say, oh, I'm allergic to these scents. They're allergic to the xenoestrogens and the chemicals. They're not allergic to the natural. So I used to think that way too. I thought, oh, I'm allergic to lavender. And I smelt the doTERRA lavender and I thought, what? Um, how come I'm not, you know, allergic and reacting? Because it's natural and my body knows what's natural and the difference. So, um, the pesticides, medications, sometimes the, the casing of the medication is the plastic um, that uh, has xenoestrogens in it. Uh, okay, it's just um, it really interesting. Um, and of course, lots of beauty products has xenoestrogens. So, you know, we have it on our skin, we have it everywhere. So there's so much exposure out there. So some of us can't avoid it. So there's a lot of problems to that. So what are the solutions, right? Okay, so let's go to the next part. Okay, go down on your paper number two. It says balance hormones. So we have a few products in doTERRA to help balance the hormones. So we have, um, it says there the phytoestrogen complex. And then we have the clary calm oil. All right. <clears throat> um, and then we have the bone nutrient. <clears throat> okay, here we are. Okay. So those are very important um, because it helps with um, balancing our menstrual cycles and with, you know, people with hot flushes, it helps your body manage that. So night sweats, healthy bones and heart and breast tissues. So we'll go through each one of these uh, in a little bit more detail in a few minutes, okay? But basically when we um, balance, we need to help our body flush out or push out the xenoestrogens, the toxic estrogens with the natural um, occurring estrogen. So this phytoestrogen is plant-based estrogen and um, because it's plant-based it helps, um, it mimics our own estrogen to help balance. And remember there's so many more hormones in our bodies than estrogen, but this is um, just, uh, you know, one of the major problems in our system. So, you know, helping with you know, the, this hormone will help with the others too. So this xenoestrogen, phytoestrogen will help push out the xenoestrogen or at least balance, helps, um, you know, your cells balance that estrogen. So if it's too high, it kind of lowers it. And if it's too low, it kind of raises it up. Okay, so that's the idea behind the phytoestrogen. Phyto is just plant, okay, plant estrogen. Uh, it's um, antioxidants. It supports the healthy bones and breast tissues um, and it helps diminish the normal symptoms of menopause and I've got so many friends that just swear by it you know helps them with their hot flashes and stuff so it's amazing to so try that 
Um, so take two, one to two um, every day and see how that works for you. So the next thing is the Clary Calm. La, la, la. The Clary Calm is in a roller bottle and you can you can see the ingredients. It's just all these flower oils. It smells amazing. You can rub it on your tummy and uh, you know the lower abs and um, it'll help with um, your hot flashes and your um, mood. It helps balance the mood and helps with cramping for that time of the month. Um, and uh, you know, just balances up and helps us chillax a little bit, makes us nicer people. Okay, so let's talk about hormone balancing a little bit here. <clears throat> Sorry. So when we have, um, when we talk about balancing it, it's not um, flat line. We're talking about how it's healthy and it goes up and down, up and down, depending on what time of the month it is. Um, so that idea is, you know, when the estrogen level is high, the progesterone level is direct, inverse, and low. So it goes like that, up and down, up and down. But what happens in our environment when we have a lot of um, xenoestrogen exposure, when we get to the perimenopause stage, it's unbearable because our hormone levels fluctuate hugely. And it makes us so uncomfortable that we go to the doctors and sometimes the doctors will say, hey, there's a, that's a problem, you've got a problem. And they will prescribe um, HRT and HRT is pure xenoestrogen. So you don't want that because in the long run it can cause a lot of problems. Okay, so like we said, you know, lots of um, breast cancer and other things. So um, we want to avoid that. We want to do it naturally because in the past, all of these women in the past have had it naturally and it hasn't been a major problem and um, it's because of our modern day diet and environment that we, all these things happen so um, you know there's a, a solution there's lots of things we can do okay because the idea is to help it go up and down up and down <clears throat> and help it taper off okay and that's what happens so I uh, introduced um, this to my mum actually and um, she was having that kind of problem and and it helps cleaned out her cells actually and she got her periods again and it balanced it up um, and she was regular and then it just was very light and light and it tapered off and it was gone for good but it's, she did it in a healthy way without it you know shaking her up and causing her a lot of discomfort so you know your body has the 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 correct clock and time when it's supposed to switch phases and um, seasons but you don't want to um, make it so that you're uncomfortable so you, there's a lot of things we can do to help <clears throat> anyways so let's talk about um, bone um, so when you have high estrogen levels your body is in a fat storing mode and when estrogen is low and the progesterone level is high, the progesterone is the bone nourishing mode. Okay, so it actually helps your bone absorbs calcium and stuff. And that's why it, um, it's linked to bone health, you know, the estrogen levels. So say that we have sustained high levels of estrogen, it causes our body to be in a non, um, you know, bone nourishing mode for so long, our bone actually loses um, the density and um, the uh, minerals and the nutrients and calcium. So that's when, why, you know, a lot of people have a lot of bone problems as they age um, because of this. You know, it's interesting because a lot of um, people from other cultures um, that eat more naturally, they have uh, more, you know, more dense bones and they have less bone problems so if people fall like my great grandmother she was in the um, field the rice paddies and fell when she was about 80 something and everyone's like oh grandma's old so they didn't run out and think ah hip replacement knee replacement oh no um, it was like you know she's getting old and so it's just awesome that um, people when they eat healthy their bodies can absorb nutrients and they can live a longer more healthier life so doTERRA has this bone nutrient and the bone nutrient is great because it has um, the vitamin D's and the magnesium and calcium because they all go together to help the body absorb and 
um, feed the bones. So when our um, body's not being fed properly, um, your body actually takes the calcium from your bones to feed the brains. So if you can feed the body, then the body doesn't need to take calcium from somewhere else. But like I said, if we have a high sustained level of estrogen, our body's not in a um, in a bone nourishing mode anyways to feed the bones. Okay, so you know, even though we take a lot of calcium and other things, it's not going to help. So that's why we that. Um, balancing the hormones is very important because then when we get to our um, progesterone level high your body's in a bone nourishing mode and so your bones are actually absorbing and um, um, being nourished and repairing okay so that's that and it's you know very affordable um, and it's all natural doTERRA doesn't do anything uh, with synthetics okay so it's not like ground up rocks so your body will know what to do with these and it's just been fantastic I've seen you know, great results with this so try that for yourself um, and another oil that really helps women is this whisper oil so whisper you can actually put whisper on your wrist and smell it and everyone else will smell different and it's kind of nice to, to you know, smell each other and see the difference but you see the ingredients are all these beautiful flowers and so jasmine and a tiny bit of cocoa bean and um, even vanilla so that helps um, you know make us more calm and more feminine that's why it's called the feminine blend okay so it's um, just kind of helps things um, be uh, more bearable um, so if you have um, you know young women in your home and they're getting to that stage you want things to be more chillax at home you want to get them a necklace diffuser put some of that on there just to help everyone be happy <laughs> you know what I mean okay all right so we have the hormone of phytoestrogen <clears throat> sorry um, the claric harm the bone nutrient okay and let's talk about sleep okay, sleep is next so we have this wonderful, wonderful supplement here. It's the Serenity. This is one of my new favorite products um, because it helps give you maximum um, quality sleep. So I love using oils to sleep. I sleep pretty well now compared to how I was years ago. Um, but, uh, you know, I want to wake up a refreshed and um, alert and alive and happy and when I sleep well of course healthy weight um, it helps with that and uh, it helps repair things helps with memory so you want to maximize your sleep so two of these um, uh, soft gels before bed half an hour before bed will be ideal um, but there's other oils too and I want to tell you this um, and I mentioned this in the last video, but I'll repeat it here. Balance helps with the mind chatter, the monkey brains. I'll put it across your forehead, on your ears, the back of your neck, on your big toes. Okay, and that will help with you just stopping you from overthinking. Um, Vetiver is great for that too. Uh, but lavender helps relax and calms you down. Okay, juniper berry will help with the organs, puts your organs to sleep so that your organs don't wake you up in the middle of the night because of that body clock. Okay, the organs take turns waking up and you're working. And so if one organ is not just terribly happy, it'll actually wake you up and um, you normally will go to the bathroom or something. And you don't want that. You want to whole night's rest without any disruptions. And of course, we have the Serenity oil. Put that in your diffuser and you'll sleep like a baby. Okay, so one other oil that I didn't mention, it's called Wild Orange. And Wild Orange, for some people, it's very good because it helps you feel like, I've got time, I can sleep, I will have time to do stuff. So, um, you know, sometimes that's my problem. I have so much to, to do that, you know, in my mind, I'm thinking, I so excited about lots of ideas I want to get all of that done all of it squeezed into a day and wild orange tells me Jade you've got time you know chillax let it go we'll take care of it later and that's what you want because when you're refreshed you get more done okay the next day okay 
that's that, that's that, and cleanse and restore. Remember, we want to cleanse our body with nutrients um, to start with, okay? And of course, you have your citrus oils to help you clean. We have tangerine, lime, wild orange, lemon. Lots of these oils are great for um, just your body. Remember, because we want to break down the petrochemicals and the xenoestrogens in our system. So put your citrus oils in your glass water bottle and um, drink that regularly just to keep things clean inside and of course our second class was about the cleanse and restore so you want to you know cleanse your organs that way to so keep it healthy so I do this all the time you know this is how I maintain my weight and um, you know you feel younger you feel healthier you feel more alert and alive and life is more quality basically okay and of course if we are you know got lots of health problems and we uh, you know suffer from all sorts of things when your cells are clean and when you sleep well guess what your body starts to repair and so that's exciting a lot of people you know they have to go back to their doctors and review and reduce their medications and you know lots life is just wonderful for them okay so you want to do that all right so let's look at number three we have um, manage emotions and moods okay so this is one thing that not just women men too um, but because we um, we're very sensitive creatures we um, have more um, I think an ability to recognize our emotions okay which is good um, so we have um, this ability you know in our nose we have these receptor sites that um, can uh, that take in all of these uh, odor molecules and uh, you know our body is able to recognize over 10,000 different smells because uh, we have these you know thousand different genes that can do that which is amazing but when we have um, you know clogged up receptors our body is unable to to sense and scan the horizons and then we, we get problems and we have a hormonal imbalance problems right so um, we have these continuums where our physical and emotion um, there's you know there's two there's extremes um, but actually they are linked together so if you cross them you have this matrix and we have discovered that um, you know we can help our mood uh, and manage our mood this way so if you have say no peace and you're feeling fatigued um, you might find yourself angry and impatient so when you're maintaining that anger and impatience you might have stomach aches and headaches and even if you don't have stomach ache you might have some gut problems so that's what happens um, when you're fatigued and you've got no peace and then if you're fatigued and you have no passion you might find yourself um, you know very unmotivated and very discouraged and you might have brain fog and chest tightness and for those people that have no passion and feel stressed um, you might find that you're hopeless and withdrawn and you might have chest tightness and lower back pains um, and on the quadrant number four you can see that if we have no peace and you feel stressed then you might have some digestive upset and neck problems okay um, and so what do we do when we're tense and worried like that so we have some solutions uh, so with the first quadrant we can use lavender peach peace which is an oil um, called serenity in the US um, so it's just a different name in other other markets but it's actually for composing and um, calming and placating so it helps you feel more peace um, on the other side, we have the Citrus Bliss, which is an invigorating blend, um, helps with stimulating and motivating you when you feel fatigued and no passion. Um, for that quadrant number three, we have um, Elevation, which is inspiring, encouraging and cheering. And then we have Balance Oil, of course, that's grounding, reassuring and consoling. And so what do we do with these oils, guys? We smell them so we put them in our necklace diffuser and smell them stick it up our noses 
or we put it in our diffusers and we smell it during the day just to help perk us up. So if you have um, like, you know, a flat morning and you're just not feeling motivated, just put your oils in here and turn it on and go throughout your day. You'll find that your mood will change within a short time. So that's the benefit of having the essential oils there. And you use it aromatically because you want to get it in your brains, um, you know, up your nose into your brains and help your brain start producing those happy chemicals again. Okay. So we have another set of oils that is amazing. It's the Emotional Aromatherapy Oils. So I have the, the touch version here. Can you see that there? Okay, so that's that um, it's just in a very easy to use roller bottle um, you can buy them in little five mil bottles too but the idea behind this is just to smell it to help with emotion so you don't need too much and it lasts a long time so with a touch you can actually roll it on your wrist and smell it put it in your necklace diffuser put it on your your chest you know or you know the back of your ears just somewhere where you can smell it. So it's very important to have this um, because when you have some sort of emotional concern, you want to find an oil that will help you uh, work it out. So say that we have the oil forgive. So, you know, I think I remember one time when I failed to do something that I wanted to, I should have done and I didn't do it and I was so mad at myself. And so I had a hard time forgiving myself. So I just went to the oils that I felt like I needed and just smelt it and smelt it. And then I found to forgive because I just realized, you know, this is so yummy. And I just kept smelling it. And I used it for a whole three days, just smelling it and just saying, I forgive myself. Um, I forgive the universe. <laughs> and it's great because then it relieves that tension and that negative feeling. And you don't have to hold it in and keep it in forever. Sometimes when we don't resolve our emotional concerns, we hold it in and it festers and it causes problems later on. So we have this wonderful tool that helps us resolve all of those negative emotions and help us attract positive emotions like motivation or cheer or passion. So we can do the things that we want to do in life and you know get that you know emotion. Sometimes people allow their emotions to stop them from moving forward or allow it to run their life. Oh, I don't feel like it. I don't feel motivated. I can't do it. And wait until I feel motivated. Guess what? You can actually change it by saying, I'm going to make myself be motivated by smelling this oil. So that's the benefit of these oils, see? So that's how you use it. So I hope that that makes sense to you. So we have peace, motivate, console, passion, cheer, and forgive. So you can use it um, in any way you want to, just smelling it. Um, you know, for any reason, but uh, the, the idea is to help your body remove some negative emotions. So one thing I would do and suggest people do is just allow your nose and your body to, to tell you. A lot of times we get stuck in that, you know, logical brain, which is just such a small section of our brains anyways. Um, and we forget to utilize the rest of our body because our body is intelligent too. And our body will actually tell us which oils will be good for us. So, you know, that's um, the emotional aromatherapy oil. So I hope you enjoyed that and utilize it. Um, and that's the end of our class today. And the next class is on, re no, it's not, oh, reducing toxins and green cleaning. <laughs> oh, just for a moment there, I thought it was something else. Um, so how to have a toxin-free home. All right, so I look forward to talking to you next uh, video and I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye for now.